hi everybody welcome to live blogger in this video we will start creating this photography website from scratch using html css and javascript so let's get started right here i have created this folder called photography website and i just opened it with vs code and i have these two folders over here so i have this folder called videos in that we have this hero video so we're going to use this in our design and then we have this folder called images and that we have all these images which we're going to use in our design so the first thing we will do is uh, we will create the necessary files so let's create an html file so i'll just create a new file over here called index.html let's create another file called style.css and let's create one more file called main.js and uh, let's start with the index.html file so in vs code you can just type exclamation and press tab and we'll have this basic html5 code and here for the title let's change the title to the name of our website which is pixel photography and uh, now let's link our css file over here so i'll just tap link and press tab and here in the href let's type style or css and here in the body i'll just link the javascript file so i'll just tap script colon src and press tab and here let's tap main.js right now let's go ahead and start with the markup so the first thing we will do is we'll create this uh, sidebar over here so i'll just create everything inside a container division and let's call it main container and uh, in that let's create an aside tag for the sidebar so let's type aside and uh, let's give it a class of sidebar and uh, in this the first thing we need to do is add this logo so let's create a division with the class of logo and in that let's create an img tag and for the source let's tap images forward slash and i have this image called logo.png so let's select that image and now let's open this in our browser and let's see how it looks so i have this extension called live server installed in vs code so once you have this installed you can just right click over here in the html file and click on open with live server and here we can see we have our logo displayed over here now the next things we need to add are these menu items so let's go outside this division and let's create a division with a class of menu items and in this let's add anchor tags for all these uh, menu items so when we click on any of these menu items we will be taken to that section so we need to add anchor tags for these so let's create an anchor tag and uh, for now i'll just add a hash over here for the href now in this anchor tag we need to have an icon and then we need to have this text so for the icon let's create a span and let's give it a class of icon and in this we will add the icon and after the span let's add this text of home and uh, here we have this home text displayed now let's also add the icon so for the icon we will use a website called heroicons.com right here i'm in heroicons.com and let's search for home and uh, let's get this icon right here so let's click on copy svg and let's paste that inside this span and uh, now we can see we have this icon home icon and then we have this text displayed after that and then we need to add the next icon and text so we have about so i'll just go ahead and uh, create another anchor tag and let's create a span with the class of icon and uh, here let's type about and let's search for the about icon so i just type info so i'll just add this icon right here so let's click on copy svg and let's paste the icon over here inside this icon span and uh, we have the other icon as well so now let's go ahead and add this icon gallery so let's create another anchor tag and let's create a span with the class of icon and let's search for the gallery icon and for that i'll just type image and i think we can add this same icon over here so let's click on copy svg let's paste it inside this icon and here outside this span let's tap gallery and let's create another anchor tag and uh, let's create a span with the class of icon and uh, the next one is testimonials so for testimonials i think uh, we can use the chat icon 
so let's use this icon right here so let's click on copy svg and let's paste it over here and here outside the span let's tap testimonials and then lastly we need to have one more icon and text which is contact so let's go back and uh, let's add another anchor tag and uh, let's create a span with a class of icon and uh, for this one we need to have this mail icon so let's search for mail and let's copy this icon and let's paste it over here and uh, here let's type contact and now we can see that we have all these icons and text displayed over here and the next thing we need to do is add these social media icons so further let's go back and uh, let's go outside this uh, menu items division and let's create another division with the class of socials and uh, in this we will add the social media icons so for each of the icons we need to add an anchor tag because these are basically links so let's go ahead and create an anchor tag and here we can add the links of the social media pages i'll just type hash for now and here in this anchor tag we need to add the image so let's type img and press tab for the img tag and for the image we need to type images forward slash and i have this image called facebook logo.svg so here we can see we have the facebook logo then we have linkedin and twitter so i'll just create another anchor tag and uh, let's type img and uh, let's type linkedin and then we have one more so let's type anchor tag and img images and uh, twitter and with that we have completed adding all the elements to our web page now let's go ahead and style this using css so let's go to our style css file now the first thing we will do over here is that we will import the fonts so we'll get the font links from google fonts all right so here i'm in fonts.google.com and uh, we need to have two fonts in our website we need to have this font called roboto and then we need to have this cursive font called satisfy so here we already have this roboto font displayed if you don't find it you can just search it over here and uh, let's click on the font and uh, let's click on get font and uh, we need to have one more font so let's search for the satisfy font and let's click on this font and let's click on get font and now we can see we have these two links so let's click on get embed code now here we have the option of adding this link to our html file or you can also add the import line to your css so i'll just add this line of code so let's copy this and let's add it to our css all right now let's go ahead and target the body and we'll just remove the default margin and uh, we will add the color of all the text to white by default because we have this dark background color for our website and uh, let's go ahead and add the background color so let's tap background image and here let's tap linear gradient and i'll just type 110 degrees and for the first color let's tap rgba 7791 and uh, here let's type seven percent and for the next color let's tap rgba 27 24 113 one and for this one let's type 93 percent so now if you go back here we can see we have this background color for our website right now the next thing we will do is we will select all the elements and we will add a line of css called box sizing border box now this will make sure that we have the correct width and height for all the elements so it will include the padding margin and border and all those things inside the height and width of the element so it's always a good idea to add this line of code to your websites all right now the next thing we will do is we will target all the anchor tags and uh, let's go ahead and remove the underlines from the anchor tags and we'll also change the color of all the anchor tags to white so let's tap color white and let's remove the underlines by typing text decoration and uh, let's set it to none now for the body let's also add the font family so let's tap font family and uh, let's set the default font family to roboto and uh, sans serif so now we can see we have the roboto font right now let's go ahead and change the width of this uh, logo so let's type dot logo img because we have this division with the class of logo and in that we have this img tag 
So let's set the width of the logo to 100 pixels. And now let's change the width of these icons. So it is inside this uh, menu items division. So we have this pan with a class of icon. So let's type menu items icon and let's set the width to 20 pixels. Right now the width has not changed but it will in just a second. We need to add a display of flex for these anchor tags because we need to have the icon on the left side and the text on the right side. So let's go ahead and target the anchor tags. So let's tap menu items A and let's set the display to flex and let's add a gap of 12 pixels between the elements and uh, this is how it looks. Right now let's go ahead and add some styles to the sidebar. So here we have this aside with a class of sidebar. So let's type sidebar and let's set the position to fixed so that even if we scroll down the sidebar will be fixed to a position and let's set the top position to zero and left position to zero and uh, let's set the background color to white. Let's set the width to 240 pixels. Right now we need to change the color of the anchor tags to black so let's change this to black and let's add a box shadow over here so let's type box shadow and let's set the values to 4 pixels 0 70 pixels negative 20 pixels rgba 0 0 0 and 0 0.1 so here we can see this is the sidebar right now let's go ahead and style this logo so we need to bring this logo to the center so for that let's go ahead and target the logo division so let's tap logo and let's set text align to center and now we need to have some padding for this sidebar so here we can see we have some padding so let's go ahead and add a padding over here so let's tap padding and let's set the value to 24 pixels and now let's go ahead and style this menu items we need to add some gap between these menu items so let's target the menu items division so here i'll just tap menu items and let's set the display to flex and let's set the flex direction to column and let's add a gap of 16 pixels between the elements and now we can see we have this gap and let's also add the hover effect so we need to add the hover effect for the anchor tag so let's tap menu items a colon hover and when you hover over this we need to move it to the right side and we also want to increase it a little bit so let's tap transform translate x 10 pixels and scale of 1.04 now since we need to have a smooth transition let's also add a transition over here and let's set the value to all 300 milliseconds ease and now we can see we have this horror effect Right now let's style these social media icons. So for that we have this division with the class of socials. So here we have this division. So let's tap socials and let's set the display to flex and let's add a gap of 24 pixels. And uh, let's also change the width of the images. So let's tap social IMG and let's set the width to 36 pixels. And we also need to have horror effect for these icons. So here let's tap transition of all 300 milliseconds ease. And here let's tap socials, IMG colon hover. And let's tap transform, scale. And let's increase the scale to 1.2. And now we can see we have this horror effect. Now we also need to have this border at the top of this uh, social media icons. So for that, here for the socials division let's add a padding top of 40 pixels and let's add a border top of one pixel solid db 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 now the next thing we need to do is we need to increase the height of this sidebar to the full height of the screen so let's go to the sidebar and here let's add a height of 100 viewport height and now we need to position all these elements correctly so we need to have this logo at the top and these menu items at the center and then the social media icons at the bottom so for that 
let's set the display to flex, flex direction to column. And here we can add a property called justify content space between. And now we can see that all these elements are positioned correctly. Let's also bring these social media icons to the center. So here, let's type justify content center. And now it is in the center. So with that, we have completed designing the sidebar of our website. Alright, so that's basically it for this video. In the next video, we will continue designing our website. So that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day. Wow.